Hey guys, it's Matt. After yesterday's video about the glitter colors on the machine guns, which turned into a fantasy about going to a not milk free zone, I thought for hours about this. See if you agree with this theory. Something kind of dawned on me yesterday, and I went, yeah, that's, that's how or why the not milk did what it did. Uh, what, a, what a cunning and worthy adversary. Uh, we have. I mean, how, of all the people that have ever lived, how many people see through the reality trick? Not, not many. Now, Matt, you, you think you got it all figured. Well, no, we, we're, we keep on the table. We don't oh, have it all figured out. We have more to do. We can never relax or take the armor off. But anyway, here's the theory. So um, one of the things I struggle with uh, in, in, in covering the types of things that were covered yesterday is that how did we get here? in terms of how forceful and over the top its presentation is in terms of pushing its LG, you know, it's, it, it pushes it, it pushes it, not just in June, it pushes it all the time. So I thought, okay, how, how the only way it can kind of get away with, and even, I, I think even like a lot of regular people are, are, are almost starting to go, this is a little over the top. I mean, they don't see it the way we do. But it can only, quote, get away with this if it can position that segment of the population or that group as horribly oppressed for, say, the last 100 or 200 years or whatever it, whatever it is. It's a rubber band or yin and yang. That What is being presented now is only possible if, in a way, somebody can bring forth the argument it's to balance the repression or the bigotry or the... Um, you know, whatever word, you know, that to keep th these people down over the last hundred years. And then I thought, you know, the, the not milk um, doesn't react to culture. It creates culture. You know, would you say it, it watches and reacts and uses or it creates the culture from scratch in the population? And then, so what I'm thinking in terms of, let's just say, um, discrimination against uh the gay community, how many ever, if you want to go back 100 years or 150, or whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't do a whole research pro project, project on this. However, you know, in history, it does come up that male uh, homosexuality was more accepted. It goes back to the days of Caligula and Roman emperors and, uh, you know, um, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But I'm thinking... It just seems to everybody, and I don't know, it just kind of dawned on me, that this um, discrimination and repression and um, even violence against or whatever, is, it, that's just what existed naturally in culture for this community over the last 100 or 150 years or whatever it may be. Again, forget about the timeline. Um, there's no, that's not the point of my theory here. I thought that, that repression and that bigotry and the violence against did not exist naturally in culture. That was created by not milk, is my theory. That was created by not milk in order to allow it to do what it's doing now. Um, if you do, if people that walk around in the streets don't have this belief that this group was a horribly repressed in every way, couldn't get a job, whatever, beaten up on the street, whatever it may be for a hundred years, it's the only way they can get away with how hard they're pushing it now, is they have that, they always have, in a way, to have to balance the scales of the, the yin and yang. And that just dawned on me yesterday that, that that was created as well. And I know people will say, well, Matt, it was uh, the, um, the attitude against the gay community came almost from a you know, from the Bible or a more, you know, the, the Christian element not accepting that as as being um, not a sin. And that was part of it. Uh, that is part of it. But again, let's just start with the basics here. And I'll, you know, I'll ask the old guard if anybody's new. Uh, take your lead from the old guard. Does the not milk, and I'll talk about, you know, if anybody's new exactly, you know, what that is a little bit later. Does the, the this evil force that blocks our spiritual path and journey. It, this force that blocks what you're supposed to do in life. 
if you point at a certain group, Matt, aren't you going to talk about the Jays? Aren't you going to talk about the secret societies? If you point about, if you point at a certain bad guy, or you point at a certain group, you're missing the point as to how thin. That's what it wants you to do. It wants you down in those weeds. So not it's two sentences. Not no, you know, it's, it's just a basic force to block us from what we're supposed to do here. It's an adversary that's playing its role in this reality system. So the the question, the old guard. I don't know if, how much what I was saying before made any sense, so we'll back up to the basics. Um, does does the not nil create culture or does it react to culture? It creates it from scratch. I think the old guard would say, Zara, do not step on that keyboard. It creates it from scratch, the old guard would say. So, you know, it just it just was in terms of, say, that hundred years of, of, of bigotry, repression, and violence against you know, that community, um, it, it just sat back and watched and waited to capitalize on that, or it created that in the first place. Um, it created that in the first place. And it, that's the only way it can get away with its presentation now, where those lifestyles is being presented as the greatest thing of all time. Those lifestyles being presented as, as superior to any traditional lifestyle or traditional choice of course it's it's not even equal it's being presented as superior and no way could get a you know we should try to get to the bottom of why is it so interested this not milk in presenting these life or certain lifestyle choices as the 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 top or the what what really should be strived for or the best choices in this society. We'll get to that later. But I thought, can't get away with what it's doing now unless um, everybody believes um, or everybody sees the horrible repression and discrimination that exists. And I thought, well, that the not no created that. So you get into, you, you get into, if you, I think, I'm not, again, I didn't do a huge research report on this, but if you do, if you look into history, um, it was, you know, again, I, I didn't, you know, I'm just, I've, I've been on this earth over 50 years. I've heard a few things in my life. It seems to be that especially male homosexuality was more accepted going back again to the days of like the, the Roman emperors and some little comments. And, um, I know it's constant movie references instead of in literature guys. And, you know, sorry about that, but I remember a comment in, uh, the movie um, Marie Antoinette, where uh, Louis the Sixteenth, uh, um, the main part of that movie with Kirsten Dunst, uh, he can't, he won't, he won't consummate the marriage. He won't, uh, he won't um, have intercourse with her even, a, on, even after the after the wedding, and day after day, week after week, and nothing's happened. He hasn't laid a finger on her, so the the Austrians are worried they're going to lose their their place and station in the French court and all this stuff. But there's a comment in the movie about, oh, he's spending more time with the stable boys, I hear. It just it just was, if it was accept, more accepted, um, then how did it uh, become so taboo? And I know that, you know, the, the biblical influence will be enough for most people. So that's how it became so taboo, Matt. But I, I see it, you know, I, I, I study this not very carefully. To me, it, it absolutely uh, created the conditions by which this community was, uh, you know, dis discriminated against. And there was the repression and, and, and things like that. I don't, I think it was, it was, um, well, let me, let me, let me leave that part out. It created those conditions because it, 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 in other words, it plans out, we, we think it plans out 15 or 20 years, it probably plans out 100 years or 200 years. It needed that in order to get away with what it's doing now. I'm not sure how that came out, but I'm, uh, I'll look to your comments. Guys, I sat here for a few minutes. I'm not sure how that came out, so just one minute, let me be crystal clear. I believe the way it's pushing certain choices and it regards the the Trans-Siberian Railroad that that those issues as well as the LG you know that whole everything that's going on now and the the endless push it's only possible 
um, if you can only snap that rubber band back if you pull it a long way. And I'm saying the the repression and, and the taboo nature of it, you know, it was illegal in you know most states uh, through the seven, 60s and 70s. The the act of you know what was illegal. It it knew it wanted that rubber band snap back, so it created those conditions against those communities to allow what it's doing now. If everybody just kind of accepted it. Oh, you know, in, in 1965, someone's, oh, my brother's uh, gay. Right? Oh, you know, okay, you know, it's his choice. If everybody, if it wasn't, if, it, if, it, if everybody just accepted it, it was a small part of culture. Um, it's not how human beings reproduce. It will just naturally always be a small part of culture. If it was just accepted, that rubber band, you can't pull it hard enough or far enough back for it to snap back the way it's doing now. Um, to get... You know, if it was just a kind of accepted, then they wouldn't be able to do what they're doing now. And if they tried to do it, nobody would much care. Nobody would jump on board as this big cause. And you get your glitter, uh, you, your glitter machine gun in Call of Duty, and you get your your flag, and you you wear your body armor. That's the flag of the non buy you know, whatever for the call. That they, they to get that what they're getting now, at least in some strange fringe groups. They have to pull that rubber band very, very far back and let it go. And that can only be possible if they, the knot nilk itself work to hurt and damage and repress and bigotry and discrimination against these groups. So these groups, of course, they're, they're the most fooled of any, of any groups. The, those that fly their, you know, their taste the rainbow skittles and fly their flags. And uh, they are, I'm not sure there's any other group on this earth that's more fooled in terms of not milk tricks and being used by this not milk system than that group. Um, of course, if they're that full, they're certainly not going to ever understand what I'm saying and that they were actually, they're being used now and they were the ones repressed by the same system we call not milk. But of course, if they ever stumbled upon this, they would think that's insane. So let me gather my thoughts on a few other things, guys. I'll be right back. Let me tell you what I discovered about an hour ago in doing a little bit of research. I thought, well, do we need a hobo code? And then I thought, Zorro, 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 I said Zorro, 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 Zorro um, I guess, what was the most recent movie with Antonio Banderas, this uh, caricature from, originally from comic books or whatever, it goes back to the early 1900s. He was, and anybody over 50 or 45 remembers this, was called Zorro, the gay blade. I don't know if that, that appeared on books or um, it, that didn't mean anything like what the word means today. But here's what happened. I, I was thinking about hobo codes, whatever. I said, well, I'm going to look into this. Why was Zorro called the gay blade? Like my grandparents, for example, would say, oh, yeah, everybody, that's, you know, they pretended they were that as a kid. They just know that. It rolls off the tongue. Well, it, it seems that this uh, tag, excuse me, is being removed from history by by not milk. The internet's being scrubbed. Every time I, I searched, do it, try it yourself if you don't believe me. Um, why was Zorro called the gay blade? When, when it, using that, the 1981, I believe it was, movie with George Hamilton, page after page about the movie. I, I didn't say anything. I didn't ask about the movie. Some spoof it's almost like the, the, the top five, seven, ten pages of search results just completely loaded up with information about this movie that nobody cared about that was probably, uh, you know, made for, for $50,000. And it just, I've never even heard of it. George Hamilton was the guy who was known for a 15-year period to be in commercials because he had a good tan. I mean, but you can't get any information about it. I tried to search it in three different ways. I found one little blogger that has some little WordPress blog, just like some guy in his bedroom that talked about uh, that gay blade was more, it had nothing to do with, um, you know, what it, what you would associate the term with day, nor being just happy, like gay and happy bot. It has to do with a, a swashbuckler and that's how it, but the, the history, it's like it's being scrubbed. I think it, I, well, I'm, I'm positive it is. There's just no way. If you're over 50, 
Although this this Zorro was more of like your grandfather's generation. You didn't, you know, if you grew up in the 70s and early 80s like I did, you've everybody knew of Zorro, you've heard of it, but you didn't give a shit. It wasn't, you were, you know, it was Spider-Man and the Hulk, and that's, you know, tra um, Transor Z and the cartoons that were on. That's what we cared about as kids. That's that Zorro stuff. That's, you know, Earl Flynn stuff or whatever. Matt, that's... um. He plays, was it Robin Hood or he didn't play Zorro? It doesn't matter. That was grand, granddad's generation, and we didn't give a shit. But they all, anybody of that age, over age 55 and older, knows, yeah, everybody knows Zorro the Gay Blade. Well, you can almost find nothing about it on uh, the internet. I, I, I didn't search a hundred different ways, guys. I searched the main ways. How about this? Why is Zorro, why is this character Zorro called the Gay Blade? I mean... Of course, the AI came right up. The 1981 Hamilton, George Hamilton movie. I didn't ask about the movie. I, I mean, this is, you know, anybody my age and older, there's hundreds of millions of people that just know this is what, this was a big thing in the 20s, 30s, 40s. So it's just being, it's just removed for some reason. Like the AI came to the determination that this in some way hurts the, 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 the word uh, whatever they're trying to do with the word G G A Y, it's in some way it's not compatible with what they want to do, so they just scrubbed it from history. Yeah, are they capable of doing that? Yeah, old guard? Oh yeah, yeah, they are. If you go, you can, they're in books. If you want to go search your card catalog at libraries, if any still exist, I'm sure you can you can find uh, books and stuff talking about it. But on the internet, it would you know, and I wasn't willing to go through page after page after page. Um, you'll see if you, if you do it. Um, I, I don't know why the Not Nilk is so concerned with the legend of Zorro being referred to as the Gay Blade re re regarding or uh, referencing what it's doing now, but whatever. Not Nilk, you're a weird bird, Not Nilk. And by yeah, I was going to get back to once every people come here if they're new, and most people here again are long term researchers, old guard. We don't get too many new people. You see that from the subscriber numbers. But they do struggle with what is this not nilk thing. So what is going on here is very simple. It's just a few sentences, in my opinion. Uh, you are an entity that existed before what you know of as your birth. And uh, I, I and you are part of a, uh, a spiritual being that, that is bigger than this place, that you were just a small aspect of it in my opinion. So therefore, of course, we will exist after death. We came in here to do something, to learn something, to accomplish something, to overcome something for our spiritual whole. Any good uh, sporting event or game or move a bit, movie, Star Wars needs Darth Vader, he needs a bad guy, needs an adversary, something that's here that's put into the reality system as a role player to block you, to block what you're supposed to do to impede your journey. This thing is called not nilk. You know, one side of the tug of war is you and your, your your spiritual whole, of which you in the body, whatever you know of as you here, is, represents your spiritual whole uh, in this material plane, pulling on that side of the rope on the other side, pulls not nilk. And it's like millions of things that pull on the other side of the rope. This not nilk thing is a, is a is a force. Um, it is a you could say it's it's a goal, a dark goal of the reality system. The reality system, or whatever this dark thing is that's put over the basic game board here, goal is to block you, to be an asshole. But you knew that coming in, or you knew that when you when you signed up. You can't point at any individual bad guy. That's falling for the trick. That's exactly what it wants. Can't, oh, what, what, let's take Hillary Clinton and the Anthony Wieners off to jail. Matt, when are you going to talk about the Jays? When are you going to talk about uh, this group or that group? And you never call out the secret societies. Any individual bad guy, if you play that game, you're doing exactly what it wants. You're getting right down into its weeds. All of these, whatever you consider to be a bad guy, all of it collectively works for something they don't even understand themselves, called not milk. We, it, it's vague. It's Clinton backwards. It didn't deserve a good or cool name. You know, I think we generally understand 
the adversary in this reality system more than the individual, of course, more than the individual bad guys or the players. I mean, even somebody like, you know, one of these big kingpin, kingpin bad guys like George Soros, uh, how much, oh, he must understand everything. No. <laughs> I, no. I don't think, in terms of how this whole reality system works, I think they understand next to nothing. Um, if, you know, you see their name in the newspaper or you see their face on on television. So any pointing at any bad guy in, in the police lineup is falling for the trick. It's doing exactly what it wants because you're blaming this little uh, character over here. You're blaming this little role player over here. When you have to go back, uh, go in your hot air balloon up 100,000 feet and see what the entire reality working collectively is doing as an entire society is doing to block your spiritual journey. I guess it's the one thing we have in common with the, the pilgrim's progress. You know, we, to, in that sense, we, we are on a journey, okay? We, we have certain things we have to get done here for the whole of us. It uses a variety uh, of different tactics, which most basic is just distraction. Just to put an X, if it can put an Xbox in your hands, you are not doing, I assure you, what your spiritual whole needs from this place. And what are the consequences of that? You have to do it again, a reincarnation. Uh, Tony would say um, the, the higher self has to put more uh, parts of itself uh, into material plane reality systems so it can someday get what it needs. Why don't we give it what, it, what we need, what it needs, what you and I need as the whole of us, give it what it needs now so we can be done with this get out or whatever, however you want to talk about it. Its most basic tactic is distraction. And there are, there are millions and millions of things from um, incremental, uh, d distractatory, is that a word? Steps of on hold. Um, we're experiencing longer than in, in normal wait times. How many times you've heard, you know, we, I've talked about it a million times, but it's so fascinating. Now you, you, let me get this straight. You and your Jimmy, let me get this straight. I stumbled upon this guy, Matt. <laughs> You think you're experiencing long unexpected wait times is part of this grand strategy of an evil force here in this reality system to distract you, even if it's just for a few seconds or minutes, to block you from a spiritual goal. Oh, you really should seek help, sir. It takes a long time to understand that. It's, it's a master of incrementalism. It will distract any possible way it can, even if it can only take a second or two here or there, collectively, it sees its, its, it sees its results on the whole across the entire population. Um, if you can have this guy over here addicted to porn and this person over it, you know, so in distraction is just its first uh, play, playbook, first page in the playbook. Then, you know, the, the seven deadly sin, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And each individual player, um, just like, you know, your body is a system, you know, the circulatory system, if it could talk, does it understand the limb, limbic system? Is that even a word? Or does it understand the nervous system? That, that's one, Matt. You, you, didn't, you, you were no pre-med. Were you like otter in Animal House? No. Um, the nervous system, does it, do they really understand each other? No. But they get a general sense they're working as, as a whole, to, for a whole, probably, if they could talk. Each individual bad guy... Um, even for the not milk is worse than the, the body systems. They don't understand the whole, in my opinion, but the, the whole is, is here to block you. And so it is, it is evil, it is assholes, but it's a necessary part of this game or whatever you want to call it. It's hard to put words to it, uh, you know, what, what we're here to do. If it, we've talked about, you know, lying on, on the beach under the palm trees, if it was easy, there'd be no point to it. You know, if, if we... The, the, again, I always harp on the, you know, the, the YouTubers that it's just, there's no way, Matt, what you could be, what you're saying could be accurate. It just makes, it's not fair. We come in here with the mind wipe. Um, Tommy, the deaf, dumb, and blind kid, we have no idea who we were. That's just completely unfair. Um, no, it's not. Because if we, if we knew what we were, we, there'd be no point to this. We wouldn't get out of bed in the morning. We'd just be... There'd be no, you need to fear certain things here. It's all part of the game. You need to overcome. You need to be pissed off by clucking roosters. The amount of rooster comments in the last video, 
about how it's necessary for chickens, I thought it was a little bit odd. I mean, I could see, I could see just maybe one. And it's, it really wasn't the, the point. Um, you know, I'm, I, I, somebody tried to tell me that the rooster would be necessary if I wanted chickens to make more chickens. Like I had no idea how the, <laughs> how the birds and the bees, bees work. I, I, anyway, it was not, I don't think, you know, it just, it just does irk me sometimes when I like, I'll throw out a little comment about something that has no relation to the main purpose of the video. And then that, that little sidebar will become a, a focus of comments. Sorry. So, uh, not milk. Um, it's very simple. And, um, this whole, this whole reality is, is two sentences. Um, you're here to do something for your spiritual whole. Um, and we need to play this game blind and not knowing who we are or were. And the proof's in the pudding. Well, how are we, we're making strides. You would say you, you're not the person you were when you were 25 years old, right? You're making tremendous strides and you're kind of sensing what you need to do here for your spiritual whole. And I'm sensing it. Well, we're doing it. If it's so unfair to certain YouTubers, like there's no way that could be accurate because we, it's just not fair if you come in completely mind wiped. The mind wipe, it happens by the evil archons and it's just not, well, we're, we're winning. We're doing it. We're, we're, I, I agree. It seems like 99 point whatever percent of people who have ever lived have not in any way understood there's even a, there's a, there's a reality trick here or anything that needs to be overcome. I believe most have failed. Have, are, have they all been real, the same entity that you are? Or are they NPCs? Who are all these other people that supposedly have lived and come and gone in the billions that have died before us? The billions who woke up in the crib in the late 70s seeing Vanna White turn letters, and those same billions will go to their grave seeing Vanna White turn letters. That just that fascinates me. I always go back to that, how billions have come and gone where they, in the crib they could have seen her and then on the deathbed scene, it just, nothing changed between, not nothing, um, but anyway, we've got to, we'll talk about stalled century some other time. It's two sentences, guys. And if it's so unfair, how are we winning? You know, well, you just think you're, no, we're, 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 we are winning in terms of seeing through the trick. No, we're not winning. Like anybody's like, we're, oh, we can turn on the news and basically tell you every bit, every bit. Every single, what's wrong with every single story, what part may be legitimate, what part is not legitimate. What, like I read uh, yesterday when I was reading the article uh, during the Adele concert, part of the article said, someone in the audience called out, you know, blank, what we talked about yesterday, sucks. And then Adele stopped the concert and bitched the person out. Well, any, any of the old guard would, know that, would say within a second, that didn't happen. That was completely fabricated. Well, I was at the concert, Matt, and that guy did call out. Well, then it was all a setup, of course. It was it was set up. It was it was meant to really happen so it could be reported on. It was it's completely illegitimate. There's just no way. Um, so anyway, we can see through all this stuff instantly. We are, and once you, if you can see through every aspect of the trick, then you can you can move on and do with do. We have the ability then once we leave the trick behind to do what we're supposed to do here. And what does that mean exactly? Well, you know, we all have different opinions. Um, I, you know, subscribe to what, you know, Tony talked about with me that we can, you know, the, the higher self, which is not, which is you, he said, you're it, it is you, um, can be done, can do what it needed to do here, learn what it needed to learn. The word school also triggers a lot of people for some reason. Like every time you even just walk around the corner, you learn something about the corner you just walked around. It's everything here is a learning experience. And if you believe we existed before birth, then that learning experience will be carried forward eternally or indefinitely. How could it, everything about this place is, is learning. Every time I, I don't know, move my mouse, I understand a little bit more about my Mac. I mean, it's just, who could possibly get triggered that this reality is not a learning experience? Are they saying, are they then atheists or NPCs? It's not learning because they, they can't take it with them? Well, we're, we'll take it with us. Anyway, whatever. Oh, boy. So, um, it's two sentences, guys, the trolls. Oh, it's, he narrows it, <laughs> he narrows it down to two sentences because he can't figure it out. Come on, what are you, every bit of your inner knowing, old guard inner knowing says that the world is overly complicated to hide. That's, it's camouflage. 
if you're looking for Walt, the back of the life cereal box we talked about somewhat recently for whatever reason um the well if you're looking for waldo that son of a beach if you're looking for waldo it can't just be waldo on a just a white there's nothing there but but waldo that does it the back of the cereal box don't work it has to be there has to be all sorts of shit all over the place and like um barber what is the barber sign what's the house what's the origin of the barber sign don't don't comment please with the damn white and red things spinning around all that shit hides waldo you know people in sweaters ugly sweaters like waldo you know the cam the dis- the complexity of what it presents in terms of this this life that's that that's its distraction that's its camouflage the more complicated it can make it the more it hides you from that you know maybe you don't agree with my two sentences but any of the old guard would probably say well you you're not quite getting it right matt but i agree with you it it is simple we know it's simple because the rule of opposites it presents everything is so complicated therefore um it's very simple it's one of the one of the big issues I'll harp on this for a, a minute. I have with with the Bible. Um, oh, I knew this channel. Every, every time I do this, oh, oh, I knew this channel was just about trying to bring down Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that's the purpose. Yeah, like I can't bring up a subject without you. Oh, that's that. You saw right through me. That is the, come on. Um, it's, what is it? I don't, something that's 840,000 words, um, that's not helpful. It, it's not. You know, somebody could say, you know, what what Jesus said initially, somebody may believe in their heart, was very simple, Matt. The knot milk, the King James had access to it. They surrounded it with all these you know, endless proverbs and this and that. It, it doesn't point to it. It's confused. And then other people would get upset at that and say, well, the knot milk or King James couldn't have messed with it. That God's word, they would never allow God's word to be messed with, which I I disagree with. This This reality system is here to be messed with and manipulated by knot milk. Um, there's not just, you know, everything here is messed with and manipulated by not milk. So just, you know, let's let's end this subject. But, you know, um, it, it, I would think, I think from, if, if I was a Christian, you know, which I can't speak for you, but just to end this segment, if you'll give me this uh, liberty or allowance, or uh, it, it, maybe what Jesus said was very simple, you know, like the simplicity of John 3.16. Maybe it, it was 20 or 30 pages. It makes more sense to me that the not milk than, you know, who's been holding this Bible? The Pope, <laughs> you know, the, the Vatican. The, you know, it's been, and then how do we, you know, they might say we can't change the core of it. You know, we, they might be un, un, prohibited if you believe that's God's word. But, but what they can do is surround it with just a bunch of complicated, I mean, King James, it's so hard to read. I'm not a dummy guys i'm not i'm not an idiot and it is it's very difficult to decipher it, it's there's no reason it needs to be that complicated especially if it's for the masses and they're even dumber than me so it, it to me and then you get into people that you you know you have people that are just um matt you said one minute i know people that are just 100 percent. it's been mandela affected greg i told you my buddy greg you know he, he was this close to going to seminary school he knows, you know, anytime I have a question about an interpretation or how a Christian interprets this and that, um, I call Greg. I said, Greg, I told about the conversation I had with the Jehovah's Witness that came to my door. And I said to him, well, where, do you th- where, where were you before you were born? And I told you he was taken aback. Well, I wasn't anywhere before I was born. We, we were God's creatures created anew here. I said, you, you don't believe you were a spiritual being before you were born? You know, and then I then I hit him with, you know, just to end this segment quickly. I, I, t- I told you this before. I said, well, in the Bible, right in the Bible, it says uh, Jesus knew you before you were born. And he said, well, yeah, he knew you in the womb. It was a, anyway, I told you that story before. But then I, I've, I've, well, I call Greg and then I'll not only ask him about the Christian interpretation. I'll say, he'll know a lot about the Jehovah's Witnesses and their beliefs. So G- Greg, uh, the point is he is 100 percent sure that the Bible's been Mandela affected. So the, the, the gentleman, the older gentleman I, d- I talked about many times, we're off to the side. Uh, do not put old wine in new bottles. He wrote wineskins. He wrote in, in a few different places. He wrote in his notes, notes to himself about wineskins. Why, why would he be writing notes off to the side about wineskins if, if it never was there? It was always bottles. So anyway, you have that just to make it 
you have the issue in and of itself that the not milk was, was holding the Bible for a thousand years before it re-released it to the people. And then you have on top of that, you know, possibilities surrounding the Mandela effect. Anyway, so sorry to be so long-winded, guys. The point is, um, complicate when something is complicated, that is a, that is a calling card of the not milk. Um, you know, the idea, one of the main things we need to do here is to get uh, right, cut away 98% of the fat of everything and get right to the basics. And it's always the rule of opposites. The more complicated um, this reality can pre present everything, the, the simpler, it, simpler it is. It's always the opposite. I just took a look at uh, CNN headlines, which I should do before making this sort of video. Like I said before, if Chicago no longer exists, I need to know that before doing a video like this. But nothing major. Uh, Biden uh, traveling to Europe about Ukraine and just a you know a bunch of nonsense. But something got my attention, which is a little tiny microcosm lesson of some of the things we've been talking about. Um, I didn't read the whole article, but some sort of controversy now is brewing around this. Uh, Caitlin Clark is her name, this W. NBA uh, white basketball, female basketball player for the WNBA, Caitlin Clark. And um, I, it just kind of hit me. I thought, well, yeah, now it's it, I, we understand why she was so hyped over the last year or so. She was so hyped into prominence because the Not Milk's storyboarding had already been done because the controversy was coming on the back end. Um, that's just how it does business. It's very similar to what we talked about in terms of starting this video, but in terms of starting this video, it did something for a hundred years in order to do what it's doing now. The Caitlin Clark is just a little tiny, you know, um, microcosm or whatever, whatever word you, you want to use, where it just didn't make any sense that uh, this, she was still basically playing for Iowa or she had just come from NCAA college basketball, of which, I'm sorry, just to, to be real, almost nobody follows in the United States other than if you're a, if you're a, um, a woman's basketball player you you watch but in terms of the general population um, nobody's watching you know female college hoops I'm sorry even though they give it's equal now in terms of when they have their tournaments so but this Caitlin Clark I'm sure she was very good I'm sure she's excellent but in terms of the amount of press commercials it just was not commensurate in any way with how much anybody cares about uh, female college basketball. So you can see now that now that she's been made a a you know not a world famous figure but maybe a, a famous figure in the United States. Well, the reason for that was now controversy on the back end. Um, Pat McAfee calling her a bitch and this and this and that and people saying, well, is it, it's not fair that uh, who's getting the attention? A, a, a white girl is getting the, and why it's on, you know, look, I'm not going to even, she was brought into prominence because, you know, it, it falsely that, you know, because of how great she was, but nobody really cared. So the controversy that the not milk just always strives to create on the back end, uh, people believe is legitimate. If it's trying to create controversy and nobody had ever heard of this Caitlin Clark, well, who is this? Why is CNN even writing this article? I mean, oh, everybody knows who it is. So now the controversy. It's so... And guys, again, the, I'll just wrap it up with this. We, we see now how this works, 100%. I mean, the first grade truther believes everybody's in on it. The secret societies and making phone calls. And I, you know, if you've been here, old guard, six, seven Eight years ago, I started to push back on that. I go, no, there's too many things going on. And still the, the first great truth was dig in. You know, you, how many times you heard me say, you're not aware of what these secret societies working with the Trilateral Commission can do, Matt. There's tens of th thousands of things <laughs> that pulls off a year. So it's just, it's, it, nobody's in on it for the most part. If they, they, you know, somebody like Melvin, for example, Bill, um, Again, he knows the basics of, of the basic level of the fraud that he's propagating. But how the whole not milk works and what it's here to, to block real spiritual being, he doesn't know any, they don't, they're, none of them are in on it. They might have an understanding of their own little scam. 
like I've said, um, Rush Limbaugh probably 99% understood that the it's pretty. So there's a power somewhere that knows who's going to be president, not the election. He knew that. In terms of anything else, no. So the first grade truther always goes. It always has to make sense to the first grade truther that um, oh no, they're they they know everything. Nope. And it, it's it, they serve what we call not milk or the dark here, they serve it on a download or on a frequency. Um, they, they, you know, what is their free will different than ours? And we'll, it, it, you, you would think it, it is, it, their free will is very constrained. And one of our job is to break the reality script. One of the main things we can do in this life is to break the reality script at every turn, to not do what it wants us to do. But um, that's a whole whole separate video. So I guess I'll wrap this up, guys. Um, look to your comments in terms of... Um, the reason I wanted to make this video was the, the first part about... You know, yeah, I said, you know, in, in terms of how it pushes its LG... It, G, it, it's pushing that... The only way it can get away with that, not in our eyes, it's not getting away with anything to us because we see right through how false everything is. But in terms of, you know, your neighbor, the only way they're... They, they're even there, they're starting to get a little like, why is this push so much? Even I think it's going too far even with them. But the only way they can get away with this, well, you know, Matt, these they were repressed and the, the bigotry and they were, you know, even acts of violence. They were for hundreds of years. And, and you know, you can understand this type of reaction on the other side. And th that's how they're... But they, see, the, the hundreds of years in the past, was that was created. That was created. If it was... Um, it might not be the lifestyle of choice for most people, but if it generally was other than hardcore Christian circles or whatever, just in general was more accepted, then all the strange pushing of it, the, the glitter skins for the, the machine guns, all, it wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to do what it's doing now if it didn't create that situation. It creates that situation so it could pull its rubber band as far as possible. So the weird snap back on the other side is more violent, or at least more accepted by the population. So, um, all right, guys, I guess I'll wrap it up. I'll see you soon.